which cardio is best for fat loss? Is it high intense interval training or HIT? Is it moderate intensity, low intensity? There's so many different options. But which style burns the most amount of fat in the least amount of time? In today's video, I break down the fastest way to burn fat with proven methods backed by science and a decade of first-hand coaching experience. I make sure to stick around to the end of the video where I give you a bulletproof cardio program guaranteed to burn fat. Let's talk about HIT. So HIIT training is a form of cardiovascular exercise that alternates short bursts of intense cardio with periods of low intensity or rest. Typically a HIIT session involves exercises like sprints, bodyweight exercises like burpees, or even using cardio machinery like a ski erg or rower. Generally speaking, with HIIT, you work at a maximum intensity for let's say 10 to 30 seconds, followed by a rest period of 10 to 60 seconds. This isn't a guarantee, this isn't an absolute, but it's a good general guideline of how HIIT works. With this, sessions usually last between 10 and 30 minutes. And here's why HIIT works so well, and so many people use it. Fat loss and caloric burn. HIIT is so effective for fat loss due to its ability to elevate the metabolic rate during and after exercise. This afterburn effect, or EPOC, means that your body continues to burn calories long after you've finished doing your cardio. This is partly because HIIT taps into both the anaerobic and aerobic systems, making it generally more efficient than steady state cardio. Time efficiency. Probably the best benefit of HIIT is its ability to burn fat in a very short amount of time. If you've only got 10 10, 20 minutes to get a workout done, well, HIT is going to do a really good job of giving you a high end result in a very short amount of time. Muscle retention. So, plenty of research has shown that moderate or low intensity cardio if done too much, can have a muscle burn effect. Not very ideal when we're trying to build a great physique. However, the research has shown that HIIT actually helps to prevent muscle loss due to its anaerobic nature and somewhat mimicking resistance training. A study by Treble et al. in 1994 was a pretty landmark study when it comes to HIIT training, showed that participants engaging in HIIT lost significantly more body fat compared to those doing steady state cardio. Even though the latter group burned more calories during their workouts, the HIT group actually showed a greater rate of fat loss. Overall, HIT's combination of metabolic health, high calorie burn, and muscle retention, along with time efficiency, actually makes it a very effective way to do your cardio. So give it a try. Now let's talk about MISS, or moderate intensity steady state. Moderate intensity cardio refers to a type of cardio that is very steady pace and performs generally around 50 to 70% of an individual's maximum heart rate. This counts as stuff like a fast walk, jogging, swimming, cycling and maybe other forms of cardio machines. Generally speaking, people will do moderate cardio for at least 30 minutes upwards of an hour or even more. And here's why moderate intensive cardio works so well. It gives you a sustainable caloric burn. Because with moderate intensity cardio, you've got a consistent fat loss rate that can be sustained for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, or even more, you have a guaranteed way for, to have a high total caloric expenditure. It's generally not too demanding on the body. However, it does require some form of recovery. Improved cardiovascular health. Very, very underlooked. Over time, moderate intensity cardio improves the heart capacity and lung capacity, and this helps to reduce your resting heart rate and improve circulation, both of which will improve fat loss by improving your body's metabolic efficiency. Stress reduction and consistency. Because moderate intense cardio is such a low impact form of cardio, it is way easier to recover from than high intensity intervals. And therefore, this actually makes it pretty sustainable, allowing individuals to be really consistent with their routine and with their training and doesn't burn you out so much that you're not motivated to do it. In 2009, a study completed by Donnelly et al. reviewed the effects on weight loss and found that moderate intensity cardio contributed heavily to fat loss when performed from 150 to 300 minutes per week. And even though this research demonstrated that it might not be as efficient as HIIT training, it is very effective for long-term gradual fat loss. Now let's talk about LIS or low intensity steady state. LIS training, generally speaking, will have your heart rate at 40 to 60% of max heart rate and includes exercise like walking, light swimming, light cycling, or anything that you can do whilst holding a conversation. And here's why low intensity cardio works so well. Fat utilization. During low intensity cardio, the body uses fat source as its primary fuel. 
the energy demands are much lower and the body can efficiently metabolize fat for energy, making it beneficial for fat burning over long periods. Sustainability and recovery. Since list places very minimal stress on the body, it can be performed more frequently you can go out for walks multiple times a day and it's not going to be hard to recover from. This makes it a very ideal option for people who just want to get out and about and still utilize a good way for fat loss. Consistency and long-term benefits. This is the last benefit that I want to talk about with LIS. I think it's just so easy to do. It's very accessible. It doesn't require a gym membership. It doesn't require you to spend money. It doesn't really require any piece of kit. All you have to do is put your shoes on, get outside and get burning fat. A study completed in 2018 by Wang and Zhang examined the effects of low intensity exercise on obese individuals showed that consistent, prolonged, low intensity exercise led to significant fat loss and improvements in cardiovascular health. People who walked regularly showed a significant drop in body fat, in particular visceral fat, and this was over a 12 week period. So to conclude, low intensity cardio is probably the most accessible and easiest way to burn fat. It doesn't take much to recover from. You can just get out, get going, put your shoes on and enjoy it. So in my opinion, is this way more beneficial than HIIT? I would probably say yes. So which style of cardio should you choose? Now this is going to be very individual. The enjoyment factor is going to matter and a lot of it will come down to personal preference. But looking at the research and working with a lot of people firsthand, moderate intensity cardio or low intensity cardio is actually my favourite. Am I saying HIIT is bad and that you shouldn't do it? Absolutely not. But from a recovery and simplicity standpoint, there's nothing easier than getting out for a walk and increasing your steps or simply going for a bike ride or a run. Neither of them are very demanding in terms of recovery. And I personally think this is what matters the most. It allows us to continue to train hard in the gym and allows us to keep the enjoyment factor high as we're not burnt out. So if your goal is fat loss, I recommend bumping your steps up to around that 10,000 mark and throwing in two 30 minute sessions of moderate intensity cardio and this will be a very good place to start to improve your fat loss and when you plateau you can always add a little bit more if you're increasing steps add another thousand per day if you're increasing your moderate intensity cardio maybe add five minutes per session it's actually very simple so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was informative and if you liked the video please consider subscribing to the channel the channel is doing so well right now it'd be nice to see that continue to grow and maybe consider leaving a like on the video i'll see you in the next one